In this video, I am in San Mateo, California at a solar installation with a backup battery installed and I'm excited to show you the progress. Panels aren't on the rooftop yet, but they're getting the mounting brackets and all of the railings and hardware all installed in the rooftop so you can see where things will be, the panels will be laid down. Um, I, th I think this is supposed to be a two day job. Maybe it'll be a three day or maybe they can get all the panels installed by the end of the day, but you'll see the progress here in just a second. Here are all the solar panels. Kind of cool. These are some power panels with um, micro inverters. More panels over here. And then this. Hi! This looks like more equipment. Yeah. yeah. The, this is the Hub Plus um, you know, backup section generation, non backup. Um, today we have more non backup than we're supposed to that it can handle so we added a sub panel for non backup as well as some more loads here for the backup feeding from our backup section okay of course this is the msp all the loads that we have to move over move over <laughs> Um, this conduit's running to our sun vault over here. Oh, this is a sun vault. Yeah. Yeah. These are our batteries, inverter. Uh, it's pretty, pretty uh, nice, easy sleek. And stuff like that. And they have, it's a six, six and a half kilowatts six of power. Yes. And, so and this is a 13. Combined, they're 13 kilowatts. Oh, two, so they're stacked. One and two. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Well, thank you. I'll let you get back to your work because it's a lot of stuff over yeah. there. <laughs> thank, right. you. thank you. So this is the layout that they're doing here. Um, okay, so panels are gonna go right there, over there. Lots of panels on this rooftop. Okay, so you just uh, saw a sun power installation, which is very exciting. It's my first sun power installation here in the Bay Area. The homeowners have been gracious and patient as we get things moving along for him and his family. Uh, it's a sunny, sunny day, which is great. Yesterday, the crew came and hung the battery, which you just saw. And now the electrician is here to tie in the main service panel into the hub plus. And then um, their backup loads are in a sub panel of their own. And then it gets all tied into the sun vault, which you saw uh, the electrician explain what the sun vault is. So it's very, very exciting for this homeowner. They're gonna have solar power. They're gonna have backup po uh, power in the event of a power outage. They're also doing an attic run for the system. So what that means is if you don't want to see conduit on your uh, rooftop, you can have an attic run. And an attic run is where the conduit goes in and gets uh, secured to the trusses inside the home. And then they're gonna drill out and pop out on the side and then run, the, drop the conduit down into the main service panel. They have about five solar arrays that they all have to connect and tie into together and run it to the main service panel. So that is always an option. It's an elected option. For some power, they're doing it for them, but with other installers, a lot of times it is an added cost. So just if you are uh, thinking, yeah, I want solar, but I don't want to see the ugly conduit, just let me know and we can and it's not very, it's not that much um, in terms of, it's not gonna be a huge price adjustment to your solar installation. So please make sure that you reach out to me if you're interested in solar for your home or business. It is the final year, and I can't believe we're already midway through February. Uh, it feels like it, or we're almost there to the midway point, but 
we have eight, nine, ten more months. I guess it's more like nine and a half months left before uh, for the tax credit, the 26% federal tax credit that's remaining uh, for people and businesses that go solar. So you want to take advantage of that before it drops down to 22%. And the other thing is, is NEM 3.0 has been taken off of the discussion table for the time being. So I'm not one to be like high, high pressure, but if you're thinking seriously about solar, you want to get locked into NEM 2.0 and be grandfathered in to the wonderful net energy metering benefits with NEM 2.0. So you can go check my other video out about NEM 3.0 and what they were discussing and what it would do to you as a homeowner, as well as the entire industry here in California. But I would say if you're seriously considering it, please, please, please go solar in 2022. And I would love to help you out in making that transition. So reach out to me at jamie at jamiegreenthesolarqueen.com. You can go to my website, www.jamiegreenthesolarqueen.com and you can fill out a form there, set up an appointment with me if you'd like. But I wanna help you make that transition from dirty energy to clean, renewable energy for your home. We have a lot of sunshine here in California and our utility costs just continue to rise. So take charge of your energy costs and own your solar, own your power. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. See you in the next video. Bye.